I can understand that. And uh, Erwin, I know you have to head out in a second, but since uh, since Jeremy just talked about it, how did you feel about Alabama for the tournament this year, sir? Uh, I, w- I want to let you have the floor for that. I, I know it's tough. <laughs> I understand. I do know it's tough, but. No, I mean, honestly, like, <clears throat> you know, we, we play a style of basketball, you know, we take a lot of, you know, we take a lot of three pointers. Jeremy would love, Jeremy would definitely love, he would have loved, yeah, loved playing love. in that system. <laughs> they take a lot of three pointers, <clears throat> you know, and when you get into the NCAA tournament, man, it, it, it's, it, it, it's, it's different type of basketball. Um, um, you know, you get referees and stuff that, that have never refed ref you during the season, probably. So you're not used to them. You're going to different venues, and, and it's, it's just a totally different brand of basketball. And when they say it's a new season, it, it's a it's a you know, conference championship, a conference tournament, then the NCAA. It's like that's a, that's like three seasons, including the regular season. It's like three seasons that you have to go through as a team, and it all it all it, all, it only takes one team to get hot to to to, to catch a rhythm in the tournament. And then it's over, you're done. It's like, like I said, Alabama played against San Diego State. You know, never played against San Diego State. And, um, you know, it's a team that, uh, you hear, if you hear a lot of people talk, you know, I've talked to a lot of people about them. They was like, oh, you know, we got a cakewalk to the Final Four. I mean, a number of people said it. And I'm like, no, nah, I've said, no, they, they actually got a good team. Hey, they actually, no, oh, we got a cakewalk. I said, okay. Then you got to look at then I, you look at the rosters. Um, they have a bunch of seniors, fourth and fifth year seniors. I mean, a lot of experience, a lot of a lot of experience. And then, like you said, the, the, the conference they play in. I mean, it's a it's a grind conference. Um, they play defense. They put in like Jeremy just said a second ago. You know, when when we get against play against teams that that are physical and like I said, put their hands on you and the referees let them play, we tend to struggle with with teams like that. And so, um, and we ran up on the we ran up on the wrong team. Now, if we had to play it against, say, for example, FAU or somebody like that, we might have would have beat them. I mean, FAU, yeah, they can score, they play defense, but I don't think they play as good as defense as San Diego State does or any of the other teams because we we could score the ball. But those guys right there, and then you know Brandon Miller, he didn't have his best game as well. You know, probably one of his worst games he's had all year. So. Um, and you know, it, it led to us a bad, you know, bad hell to end the season. But you can't take away from you know, you can't take away what they accomplished during the whole entire season because they did a lot of great things, a lot of great things. And I think you know, Alan, I, I know everyone's got to go, but I think it's a travesty for and Alabama fans, Alabama fans can be the worst at this like because they're so football minded and then they just cheer for basketball when it feels good like I've been a basketball an Alabama basketball saying you know I, I went to Irwin's games you know like and I was way back in the day so like but I think it's a travesty like there, there you know there's no such thing as a um as an easy game in basketball like you can ask UConn, like in the coaching staff and the players, like they won games by 14, 15 to 20 points. And your casual, no nothing fan thinks like, oh, that's an easy, that is a grind. That is a possession mm-hmm. by possession in the three point line changes the game. Like you're never out of it. I mean, I was just watching the replay of Duke and Maryland the other day when Duke was down by like 13 with 47 seconds left on the clock and ended up winning in regulation. I mean, the three-point line makes the game never over. And so you get in the NCAA tournament where you have really good, desperate teams, there's no such thing as an easy road. I mean, there's mm-hmm. just, it's a grind, man. And I didn't even, you know, like I said, I mean, we played one year. St. Joe's beat us by 100. But I would like to think that, you know, they that you know we played our butts off and we played as hard as we could. I just – there's no yeah. such thing as an easy road in the tournament. That's why we are no. where we are with a nine seed and a five seed and a – you know, because you're you're one bad night away from, from, from going home. But that's why it's the greatest tournament and, to me, the greatest sport in the world. 